In this demo, we'd like to demonstrate how SAP BPC provides a solution for intercompany matching. The consolidation process actually begins with an intercompany matching process. The latest trend we're seeing in the industry is for organizations to move toward a more frequent real-time intercompany reconciliation process. In some cases, companies are moving toward a daily matching process, while in others, they start the reconciliation process a few days before the end of the month. Still others take the more traditional approach of reconciling the intercompany as part of the close process. Regardless of which approach an organization uses, SAP BPC delivers an intercompany matching process flow which is BPC's version of a guided workflow that provides a packaged application that can be configured to a client's specific process. The business process flow itself provides the ability to streamline repeatable business processes such as consolidations, forecasting, and budgeting. Managers and administrators can embed existing processes such as intercompany matching, ensuring that the appropriate controls and guidelines are followed. The business process flow shows the user the steps required to complete the intercompany matching process. The process is completely configurable for the user including steps, reviews, etc. which you want to enforce as part of your process. So let's go over to BPC and see how the solution would work. So this is the central user console you see when logging into SAP BPC. The My Activity icon contains a list of actions or business process flows that the user can act on. We are going to be working with the intercompany matching process here. So I'm going to click to drill into the intercompany matching. The first thing we want to do is we want to validate our incoming expense or basically look at the intercompany matching. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this which will launch the Excel front end. Takes a moment to load here. So what you're looking at here is the matching for the various accounts, the entity input and the partner input in local currency in euros. If we scroll down here to the intercompany financial accounts, we'll find that there is a $10,000 intercompany out of balance amount between the German holding company and France. To see what makes that up, we're going to expand this group of accounts to greater detail. What you see down at the bottom of the screen is that France has declared $10,000 intercompany for other financial expenses with the German holding company. The offset account for that, again, this is totally configurable by user, is interest income here. But the German holding company has not made any declarations to offset the France $10,000 amount. So our next step is we want to go ahead and we want to make an entry for the German holding company to balance the intercompany account. As I mentioned, there are multiple input schedules based on expense, income, receivables, and payables. What we want to look at is the income input schedule. Here you have a schedule that shows for Germany the intercompany revenues. We know that interest income is where we need to book our offset to balance the intercompany. So we're going to change this to interest income. We can use the standard BPC search function and type in interest income. The schedule automatically refreshes, so what you see is there's already a declaration of 1,114 euros for Great Britain with the German holding company. We'll go ahead and change the partner to France here so we can post a matching entry. This is using the member recognition, so you can type in the entity you want to use without having to have all the entities listed down this column. We just want to type in the intercompany number for France which is I underscore E 
0203. So now we'll go ahead and post the $10,000 entry. We entered 10,000 here and we want to go ahead and save that. So we'll click on the EPM menu, save data. Now we're posting the offsetting entry. We can now see here that we have an intercompany declaration for both Germany and France. The next step we need to do is rerun our intercompany reconciliation. So we're going to do that process, which is a data manager package. We're going to run that for December 2017, click next, then finish. Package is running and now we need to go back to our report. You'll notice here it's still zero. When we refresh the data, you see we have now matched the intercompany account and we are in balance. Hopefully this shows you how BPC is used to facilitate the intercompany matching process and quickly match any out of balance amounts.